Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're at a really convenient location, about 30 minutes north of Denver, right off I-25. Super easy to find. You can see our trailers as you're driving down the interstate. So today is a really beautiful day. I know we've been bringing you a lot of videos in the cold and the snow, which we will probably tomorrow because I think we're expected to get about seven inches. But for today, this is a really great day to showcase one of my favorite trailers. So I'm a little disappointed. Nobody has bought this trailer yet um, to the point that we've had to actually reduce the price a little bit on it. It is, as I said in my last video, the cutest trailer we've ever had. Um, this is a Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck. It is the perfect size for those of you that are going to the trails in Colorado. I know that the trail, trailer parking is so tight in a lot of those spots. And this trailer um, is the perfect size to kind of get all of that um, length fit into those tight little spots. So this trailer is 7'1 tall, so it's gonna fit a lot of your standard sized horses. Um, you are 6'10 wide, uh, 14 feet, six inches on the four. So not too much bigger than a, than a three horse goose, or a three horse bumper pull there. And the best part about this is the weight. It's extremely lightweight. Um, while being very, very strong, which I'll go over the structure in a minute, but you're only 3,900 pounds empty on this trailer. So a lot of today's really capable half tons um, would be really great to pull this trailer around uh, wherever you need to go. So this trailer, we've reduced the price, which is even more tempting to me. So I need somebody to come purchase this before I try and sneak it home in my driveway um, without telling my husband. But let's go over some of the really cool features that make this trailer great. All right, so first off, as I mentioned, this trailer is extremely lightweight. It is easy to crank up and down at only 3,900 pounds empty. Um, it is a single leg jack, so quick couple turns and you've got it on your truck. If you have decided that you are beyond the point of cranking a trailer up and down, our, our shop technicians here are very capable of installing an electric over hydraulic jack for you. We can get that priced since we just reduced this. It's a really nice add-on to have. Um, you've got a lot of safety features on this just up at the front here. So you've got two set screws as well as a locking pin. So you're gonna be very secure on your truck. This is a 25,000 pound coupler that BMW and Cimarron actually partnered with together to make. So you've got a really high quality American made hitch right here. You've got your breakaway cable. And I like that it's not that old wire cable that um, gets get bent and kinked and it's just really unwieldy and hard hard to kind of use. This one, it retracts nice. It's got, it's got some bungee to it. So it works really, really well. So you've got a very solid kind of front end on this trailer. Right here, this is kind of um, a little sticker they've put on here, but our tires have a really good warranty on these trailers as well. So you get one year, no excuse. So like if you hit, have a roadside hazard that punctures your tire and makes it irreplaceable, they'll either credit you or they'll send you a new tire. You've got two years of roadside assistance, so you're not gonna be stranded on the side of the road with your horses thinking, what am I gonna do? And then they actually do a five-year warranty against any manufacturer defects. So these tires themselves um, carry, carry quite the warranty as well. And then Cimarron stands really well behind their trailers. They do an eight year structural and a three year hitch to bumper. So you know that if they're willing to cover their trailers this long, they're not expecting you to have any problems. They really stand behind their product. Today, as I mentioned, it is so nice out. So we've got really warm weather today and it is gonna plummet. The temperatures are gonna drop. So one of the nice things that they do on these Cimarron trailers is these are actually nitrogen filled tires. So if you're starting out really cold and these, these tires heat up really fast, say it warms up quickly, you wanna make sure that you're not setting yourself up for a situation where you could have a blowout. So these nitrogen filled tires, they stabilize your PSI so you're not getting those temperature swings of regular air. 
um, that inflates and deflates your, your tires a lot. So by having that nitrogen in all, all of your tires as well as your spare, it's just setting you up for success. All right, so we're gonna work our way into this tack room here. So this tack room is a great little size. You've got a three foot six inch short wall. This feature right here is something that's very, very popular. Everybody likes the swing out saddle rack. Um, if, if we've also got, if you decide you want the, the folding rear tack, we can do that setup as well. We can actually add it on to this trailer if, if that's something you wanted. But the swing out saddle rack is really nice. You can add additional holders on here, additional blanket bars. So these are very, very versatile little, little swing out saddle racks here. You've got the door organizer on here, and I know this is really popular. For those of you that maybe have a little too much stuff for a brush box, you've got tons of little spaces to throw brushes, hoof picks, all your bottles of fly spray, show sheen, all of that, as well as if you've got anything that looks like it's gonna tumble around, you've got little zipper pockets on there. If you wanna take this off, it's very easy. You just spin these and you can pull them all off. Um, put a brush box here if you want instead. This is easy to take off and clean if that's something you need to do. So this is a nice little handy feature on this. We've got a big fold up step here. It's on a little shock so that as you're driving down the road, you're not gonna have to worry about it falling down. Um, so this is really helpful that if you've got a step in there, you're not having to make that leap over into this trailer. Even though we're 610 wide, that running board, if we were to carry it all the way across, it's still a lot thinner and it's a lot higher than this fold up step. So having this here is just a huge benefit to those of you that are trying to bring too much stuff in at once. So this is your tack room on this trailer. Um, we've done a lot of really cool features on this. The first I wanna point out is we've actually braced it in the event that you want an AC unit. So if you're deciding to make some modifications, maybe you've decided that you wanna do a little over, a few overnight trips or you get really hot at shows and you just want it to be a little bit more comfortable in here. This is pre-braced for an AC, so they're not gonna have to go in and add additional bracing after the fact, which can be very expensive. So we've kind of set it up um, for modifications in the future. You do have two windows up in the nose, so if you want to lay down, take a nap or something between your between your uh, your rides or anything like that, you can just open these windows, get a lot of airflow going through here, and be a little bit more comfortable. Got this big shelf here with this clothes rod underneath, and this clothes rod is it's heavy duty. It's welded on. Um, this this shelf is nice and heavy duty. You've got lots of bolts securing it, so. This is just kind of a, a little snapshot of how well Cimarron builds their trailers. Just imagine if they're willing to put this much craftsmanship into their shelves, how the rest of your trailer is built. So there's, there's a lot of really great benefits about going with a Cimarron. You've got carpeted uh, bridle hooks back here. So they've carpeted this. If you've got bar bridles, you don't want your bits swinging back and forth and annoying the horse on the other side. It also keeps this aluminum nice and clean and your head stalls are expensive. So putting some padding behind them is definitely, um, definitely preferred. A lot of people come up and they're like, oh, that's plastic. But it's not. This is actually, um, Cimarron makes these, they're, they're, they're aluminum, they're, they're coated in a, um, and they're, they're strong and heavy duty, so you're not going to have to worry about these getting brittle and breaking. Once again, just another, another nice little Cimarron upgrade that makes these trailers so great. We did decide to option this one with a little 25 gallon water tank on this trailer. So that's a little nice feature. If you are trail riding or anything, going to shows, your horses, they tend to be a little picky. Maybe they don't, maybe you don't want to trust the water at the shows. You can bring the water from home um, and they're really easy to empty out. You've got a little hose underneath. So it's just a really nice feature. It fits perfectly back there behind the swing out saddle rack. So we kind of maximize the space that we can. Last but not least in here, you've got your 12 inch boot box that goes all the way across. So I like this just because you've got a nice little place to sit in here if you got to put, put your boots on or, but you've also got 
tons of storage underneath. And this makes it a lot easier to get up into the nose if maybe you're storing some stuff up there or throw a bed up there. You've got a lot easier than one of those fold down foot pegs to get in and out. And you do, if you're hooked up to a truck, you do have lights on this trailer. These are OptiBright lights. So if you want, our shop can um, quote you out for adding a battery on. If maybe you're using this trailer as a full-time tack room as well, um, we can always get, get you some lights in here so that you can use them at night and when you're not hooked up. So one thing that's really, really great about these Cimarron's and is, is their structure. And Cimarron sent us some fun little extrusions to kind of explain how, how these trailers are composed so that you can see the structure because everything is really buttoned up nicely. It's hard to tell what's behind those walls. So it's kind of, these are fun to be able to show you exactly how they're, they're composed. So Cimarron owns all, all of their extrusions. So a lot of this trailer is like a giant puzzle piece and what that does is it increases the strength it makes them be able to have really nice beautiful welds behind these um, and it's just very very strong so first thing i want to point out is they actually have these triple hollow slats which run up and down the sides of your tra trailer so all of this right here you've got them running down here every nine inches and these side slats add tons of strength. I mean, there's no like bending or warping this. It is, it's adding a lot of structural strength to your side of your trailer. So you're getting a lot less of that breathing in and out that trailers get as they go down the road. Anytime you add a hollow like that, you're adding strength to the side of your trailer. So these extrusions are extremely beneficial to you. And they're, like I said, it's a giant puzzle piece. So they're all interlocking just adds to a lot of strength for your trailer. And then the nice thing is you've got the, um, the rocker panel and running board um, that can slide in there as well. Um, so if you're uh, going down the road and you're 610 wide, you're gonna have rocker or running board if, or you're gonna have your, your, um, your sorry, your rocker panel. So it's all interlocking. We do a line and insulate on these trailers so you do have that styrofoam behind. Keeps your horses a little more temperate. And then at the very base here you've got the bottom rail. It is a heavy duty um, piece of extruded aluminum and this is kind of the base frame of your trailer. This is where your floor locks into. Um, so by having a super heavy duty piece there you know that your trailer has a very very strong foundation. So it's really fun to kind of see exactly how the structure works. I know it seems like a lot of um, cloak and dagger on trailer, trailer sales. You don't really know what's behind the walls but Cimarron is really great about being really upfront about how their trailers are built. We want you to know the structure because we want you to know that you're leaving with a really, really high quality product. All right, so to continue on here, um, up above this side slats here, you do have 050 aluminum sheeting. Uh, we went with white. A lot of people um, don't mind hooking up different colored trucks to a white trailer. So we kind of went with this color because it's, it's appealing to the masses. So if you're um, going to ever resale this trailer, it definitely helps to have something that a lot of people are used to. Um, Bolt-on fenders for these trailers. So if you ever did have a blowout, um, you know, there are road hazards that can create that. Um, these fenders are actually bolt-on and it's a lot less labor. They can ship this, it's a one-piece fender. Um, so it's something that's very easy for shops all around the country to replace. So we don't have to have it welded in. You don't have to spend a ton of money or have to deal with living with an ugly beat up fender just because you have a blowout. So it's, it's another cost saving measure that Cimarron does for the customer in the long run. We've got these little button lights here um, that kind of let you know at night how wide your trailer is. So you can see people around, you can see just a nice little fa safety feature. You're running on 5,200 pound axles. So you've got plenty of axle underneath this trailer. You can load some pretty big heavy duty horses on this. And up above, 
we did do um, awning lights all around this trailer so you've got 16 inches 16 inch awning lights on each side as well as um, an 8 inch awning light on the rear to load at night so if you want to tack up it's very easy for you to see these LED lights put out an incredible amount of light while not taking a huge energy draw from your truck or trailer so we really like we really like using all of these um, LED lights on these trailers so now we're going to kind of work our way back here first thing you'll notice when you step back here is well, that door is a little bit bigger than that door over there so we've done a 60 40 setup and that's really nice because if you have um, a horse that's really well trained jumps in and out of your trailer uh, very comfortable for them to get in and out then usually you can get away with just opening the one bigger door load your horses in and out you're not having to wrestle with two big doors or a big single door that maybe the wind will catch so I really like this 60-40 setup. Um, if you've got a horse that's maybe a little ner more nervous and he wants to be able to kind of see what's going on, you can open big both doors. You've got little um, hold backs on each door, which is why they're not kind of coming towards us right now, so that they can be, feel very comfortable. We want it to be very inviting for these horses to jump in. We also, on the hip side, um, did another window, another bus window. So these Cimarrons, they do a really great job of providing a lot of ventilation for your horses. Uh, you can get a lot of wind sucked out through here. You've got roof vents, you've got drop downs, you've got bus windows in here. And then this rear window I really like. I think it just helps move a lot of that air over the backs of the horses. You've got kick mats on these rear doors. Um, so you're going to have a really nice clean finish. If you've got a horse that's maybe a little naughty and likes to paw and kick, this is going to help make your trailer look better in the long run. We talk about um, structure a little bit more. This is actually the rear frame of your Cimarron trailer. So the really great thing about this is Cimarron uses all one extrusion. So by going with one extrusion, they add a lot of strength to their trailer. A lot of companies have to take three pieces and weld their rear, rear door frames together. So when you're having to, to weld all those pieces together, you're adding in a human component that maybe, um, maybe they didn't weld as well one point or another. Um, so this, this kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out, adds a lot of strength, um, just kind of once again shows you how well Cimarron does um, their structures on their trailers. All right, so right here, if you do have one door open, um, you've got a nice big thick butt strap so that a horse isn't gonna come shooting back out at you. Nice little setup there. I love this big stud divider on this trailer. Um, I am the proud owner of, a one, of, of just one horse until I'm allowed to start hoarding more. Uh, so, so by having this stud divider, if you've got just one that you're hauling, maybe you're going for a long weekend somewhere, maybe you're moving, you can throw like all the hay, coolers, everything up front that you don't necessarily want to um, put in the back of your truck or in the bed of your truck and uh, get, it, get it out of your area, keep it back here. So this, this allows you to have lots and lots of storage. Um, if you've got a horse that maybe is a little bit, bit naughty and rude, it's kind of nice to contain them a little bit. You know, it's not so much a stud divider, sometimes it's a grumpy mare divider. So really, really great having this on a two horse trailer. We do it on all our bigger trailers, but I think this was a really well thought out plan um, on my manager's part. Right here, you do have a soft closed divider. I like that Cimarron does everything so that you can do it one-handed. So everything is supposed to be very easy. What are you usually doing when you're bringing horses? You've usually got a lead rope in one hand. You don't want to have to struggle with pins and everything to close everything up. So it's just very simple, one-hand operation. Same with your drop down, same with your, um, with your doors, everything like that. They try and make it as easy as possible for customers to use these trailers without getting frustrated. Um, you're also going to have a much quieter ride for your horses. They try very hard to minimize metal to metal contact. Metal on metal actually wears a lot quicker, so it'll break down faster. So if they can do like a really high quality plastic like here against something metal, 
you're actually gonna have a lot more longevity and use out of it, as well as you're not gonna get that high, high pitch ting, ting, ting for your horses that are, that's really annoying. We want our horses to be very comfortable riding in these trailers, so we try and make it as easy as possible for them. All right, so right here, we've got a couple other structural. This is just a fun little structural tour of these Cimarrons today. Um, so this is actually your upright post. So it's very, it's tubular. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller than what the competition uses. But the cool thing about that is it's stronger. So by having more of a tubular shape, this is what a lot of the competition uses for their upright posts. Um, not quite as strong. If I had two really long pieces here, this one would kind of bow as you start to get really long. This one's going to be straight like a pencil. So we want the straight like a pencil because we want something that's going to be very strong for the sides of our trailer. This is where a lot of your structure is. This is what's kind of keeping your horse safe. So by going with this stronger, smaller post, you're saving weight which is really great because then you're not having to pay quite so much in gas. You're not having to overload your truck, but really great upright posts. This is actually our roof bow. So we use, we use um, on the roofs what a lot of competition uses on the upright posts. And as you'll notice, it gives us kind of a nice curve so that we can kind of let some of that water and snow drain off the top of the roof. Right here is your roof material. So this is one of the coolest parts about a Cimarron, um, and it's kind of a pun because it actually keeps your trailer a little cooler. Sorry, bad jokes. Um, but these these Cimarron roofs are um, they're about a half inch thick. They actually have a honeycomb core. It's by a company called FiberTech. You've got a gel coat finish on the top here. Um, and that helps with a lot of the UV rays. It's not going to degrade it. Um, this is a single pour. So in the old days, they had issues with, um, like this is on a lot of heart trailers too. They had issues with delamination over time. The sun would kind of eat away everything and then water could get in there. If water gets in there, it's not going to degrade anything. It's a waterproof material. Um, and uh, this gel coat finish really helps with that as well. So this roof, uh, aside from punctures, which are easily repaired with a little bit of silicone, is going to be really heavy duty, nice and sturdy. This is a pretty small piece, but I'm not going to be bending it. I can actually jump up and down on the roof of one of these. Um, I don't recommend it for safety reasons, but it is that strong. If you have a hail storm, like we're really susceptible to hail out here in uh, this part of Colorado. So by having these roofs that are really dent resistant, um, your insurance company is going to be a lot happier with you. You're going to be happier because you don't have to see it. And your horses are going to be happier because they're going to be a lot cooler in the summer and a lot warmer in the winter. So we really love these roof systems here. So we did rubber mats in this trailer. Um, they're really easy to pull up and clean. Get yourself a little mat puller and these are really easy to drag out. I didn't bring a, a sample of my floor today. We've done a lot of those, but it's essentially a tongue and groove interlocking deck. So you've got four inch centers and every other is a V truss, which adds a lot of structural strength to your trailer. But the big thing with aluminum floors is you just want to make sure you're, you're cleaning them regularly. Baking soda has been really helpful. So if any urine gets down there, it's going to neutralize it so it doesn't eat away at your floor. So you just have to be diligent. If maybe you're a little lazy like me and you don't, you really hate pulling mats and cleaning out your trailer, there is a product out, out there in the world called worm flooring that we put in a lot of our trailers um, that basically does an impenetrable barrier um, so that urine can't get down to that floor and eat that aluminum. So there's lots of easy options. This trailer can be completely perfect for you if you want it to. So one thing I really like is, is wherever there's a horse store, they're gonna do a butterfly latch on these trailers. So these are the new um, hinges, door hinges for your, sorry, these are the new doors for your uh, Cimarron trailers. So they're really easy to use. These butterfly latches can be locked. So everything on this trailer is keyed the same. You need just one key to, to 
to lock every part of this trailer. So if maybe you're hauling cargo and not horses, or you are hauling horses and you don't want anybody to get in, um, you can lock all of these and make sure that your trailer is very secure and uh, locked up tight. Alrighty, so now we're at our big, big drop down windows. These windows are heavy, heavy duty. As you can see, we've got the pop socket back here. Um, it was, it was a, a little bit of uh, pressure for me to get it up, which is nice because if you're going down the road, you don't want something that's gonna flail about in the wind, maybe rip up and slam into your horse's face. Those windows, even though they're cheaper, they are expensive to replace. So by having something that's really heavy duty and that you don't have to replace, you're probably gonna save money in the long run. So you've actually got over six inches of framing behind this drop down here, which allows it to be very, very strong. You're not gonna get a lot of bending and warping. This jail bar here is one solid piece. Once again, plastic, wear any metal to metal contact. So you're gonna have um, that nice added benefit for your horses. But I just love that everything is one nice um, solid piece. You're not gonna have any moving parts that maybe you have to replace. Um, Cause anytime there's a lot of movement on something, it's more likely to wear out in the long run. So really great little, little uh, structural element there. You do have the windows here that you can um, slide over if you maybe want to control your ventilation a little bit more. Maybe it's you're going down the highway and too much, too much air is uh, going to cause it to be harder for your horses to eat going down the road. So we do have a lot of ways to manip manipulate the air on these trailers. Once again, big 16 inch awning light. If you've got a friend that's going with you and maybe uh, maybe your, your grumpy mare that you've got in the first stall doesn't quite get along with them, you can have them tack up over on this side and they can still see what they're doing. So really great option there. So the last thing I wanted to kind of point out before we, before we conclude this tour today is actually uh, the 53 inch gooseneck drop wall here. So one of the things that we've really faced recently is a lot of people are trading in their trailers because these new trucks that they're buying are making their trailers run really nose high and they're putting a lot of stress on that rear axle. It's uncomfortable for your horses to ride like that. It's not fun to pull a trailer that's super nose high. So by going with a 53 inch gooseneck drop wall, the standard is 50, um, it allows you to have the option to um, hook up to a larger variety of trucks. These truck bed rails are so high that we still want to maintain a good six to eight inches of clearance between the trailer um, and, the, and the bed rail. So by, by giving us an extra three inches of wiggle room there, it really helps for those newer trucks that are just so incredibly tall. So if you've hooked up to your trailer recently and you're like, oh, it looks a little close to my new, new, new truck's bed rail and maybe it's not great for my truck and my trailer and my horses, um, come in and see us and we can talk about a trade-in. Uh, there's still plenty of people out there that are just getting into, into horses and trailers and they, need, they have an older truck that still works with all those trailers. So come get yourself a new beautiful new reduced price trailer um, and trade in the old one and and uh, I think you'll be a lot happier in the long run. So please, please, please take a look at this trailer on our website. Um, the stock number if you're looking, you just go to transwest.com. It's a 2021 Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck. The stock number is 5N200-728. Um, this trailer needs to find its new home so that I don't bring it home. <laughs> we used to joke because it used to sit right in front of my desk and I would just stare longingly at it every day. So I really want this trailer to go to someone that's gonna love it as much as I do so that we can order another one that I can drool over. Uh, for those of you that have any questions on this trailer or any other trailers that we've got on this lot, um, you can reach me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970. 309-6368. That is a number that can text, so if you don't want to talk on the phone, um, text is fine as, as well. Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to see this go to somebody that's going to really use it, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, stay warm tomorrow.